So after I have finished the work on the camshaft, I have assembled the front cover. I have now also an aluminum oil swamp. Also I have uh, assembled and painted uh, the cylinders. They were painted before but I had to remove the, the paint and now they are painted again. And now as you can see I have an original cable for the ignition and also the commands in order to make the setup uh, for the ignition timing. So, in order to make the ignition timing setup, you need a lamp, one wire connected to the points here, and one and uh, one wire connected to the plus on battery. Basically, the lamp is the ignition coil, but we need a light in order to to see if it is working correctly. Also. We need a minus on the on the engine from the battery here and somewhere in the engine you put uh, the wire for the minus so if we are turning the engine you can see the lamp is on when the lamp is on that means the ignition coil it is receiving current and it, it is charging so we are turning the engine. When the lights it is off, the points are open and uh, they are giving the spark. Now it is again on. That means the ignition coil receives current. And now we have spark. If you watch here the pistons, it is almost in the top dead center. So this is the ret retarder and if I retard the ignition, now we have the lights on. And if we are turning a little the engine, as you can see, now uh, we have spark because the points are open. In this moment, the points are open, and now we have spark. As you can see, when I when, uh, when I have the ignition retarded. I have the piston on the top dead center and uh, that means uh, the ignition time the ignition timing is too retarded but uh, this is because I have the same problem the camshaft that I had before uh, with the with the gear with the points not given correctly but for this engine we are good for starting the engine with the with the spark on the top dead center. If I release, if I release the lever, and I will go back again. And now I'm turning again the engine. Now we have spark before the top the center and I have an advance of five millimeter it should be eight or nine millimeter but like I said before I have this problem with the camshaft and for this engine with five millimeter it will work uh, just fine ideal it is eight or nine millimeter but for the moment I will uh, leave it like this because uh, it will uh, work just fine and also I will uh, in the future I am planning to build uh, my own uh, my own ignition to remove this original ignition 
and uh, to make my, my own ignition, maybe even electronic one. And uh, this is in the important uh, thing it, it is to understand, this is the way to set up an ignition. You need a lamp connected uh, on the points and battery, exactly like the ignition coil. You need the retarder system for the ignition, this lever, a cable. You can do it also manually, but this way you can make the setup here. You will assemble the engine on the bike and when you will connect uh, all these parts, you will have a functional system and already with the setup made and it is much easier to make here on the bench than to make uh, on the motorcycle so again with the ignition retarder we need 8 degrees or 2 millimeter before top dead center and with the maximum advance we need 35 degrees or 8-9 millimeter. From my experience, this type of engines do not like too much uh, a big advance on the timing, on the ignition timing. But also, it is important to have a good ignition timing, not too retarded, not too advanced, and this is the be the best way to to prove it.